today we find ourselves outside the map house, London's largest and most prolific antiquarian map dealer. This is Art of the World, I'm your host Patrick Curse. follow me inside. Today on Art of the World, we look at the world of antiquarian maps, those who buy and sell them. Maps is an art form, one of the few types of art, which not only satisfy those observing them visually, but have also proved useful in guiding in a practical sense. This is a gallery. In this very room stand some of the world's most interesting and valuable maps. Many years it has been opened, its customers have included politicians such as Winston Churchill and Margaret Thatcher, actors such as Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie, and even a royalty in the form of Edward VIII, such a fan of the map house he worked in the map house's basement regularly for entertainment. He even declared the map house to be the supplier of maps to the royal family by this royal patent issued by the Prince of Wales in 1920. The map house's stock numbers over 10,000 pieces, reflecting the changing face of cartography over a period of half a millennium. Maps of all periods represented range from early Italian copper engravings to the magnificent flowering of 17th century Dutch cartography. One of the greatest aspects of maps is their variety. They differ from glorious wall-spanning maps of the earth to propaganda maps made popular during World War I. We spoke to Philip Curtis, renowned map dealer and author of books, War Map and the Mapping of Antarctica. Can you tell me about the map house? Any interesting details or anything? Uh, the map house was established in 1907 and is London's oldest and indeed biggest antiquarian map seller. What sort of maps do you sell here? Uh, we sell all sorts. Uh, we have maps of the whole world. We have maps from the 15th century. They run right way through up into the 20th century. Uh, there's a lot of valuable maps here, obviously, but what is your most commercially valuable, uh, expensive map, would you say? Um, it would be probably the map behind me. The wall map. Um, it is from the 1670s. Uh, it was designed to decorate a palace or castle, and it is one of only five known copies. One of which has actually disappeared. We have since found two, four in existence. And you own two of them? We, we have sold one and we own this one. Mr. Curtis showed us one of his favourite maps, the German pilot's map of the UK during World War II. Unfortunately for the pilot, the map was recovered from his plane's cockpit upon its crash. The pilot did not survive. The map finds itself covered in leaking engine fluid from the plane and the blood of the pilot. The map is a particularly interesting one amongst the vast collection due to the personal story it tells and its relevancy to one of the darkest periods amongst Britain's history.